Hello, it's Charlie here for TottenhamMusic.com, um, helping you guys through your GCSE music revision, uh, just highlighting some of the key aspects that I think are a little bit difficult, um, and helping you guys with your revision and all your assignments, um, and hoping making things a little bit clearer. Uh, this time we're going to be looking at intervals, um, and explaining them a little bit, hopefully in relation to some of the stuff we've already done. Um, an interval in musical terms is just the distance between any two notes, that is simply all it is. You generally get two types of interval. Uh, we have the um, the melodic interval, which is the distance between uh, two notes when played separately. Okay, so played separately, so that's a, 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 a sorry a melodic interval, and you get a harmonic interval when the two of the notes are played at the same time. Okay, so they're just given given names often, whether that be in a melody or a piece or whatever. Anyway. So that's what an interval is, okay? Now, an interval, in terms of applying it, really important that you apply this stuff. Okay, we're going to go back to our friend at C major scale and look at all the intervals within C major. So that's just the distance between all those notes. So we had earlier, we had C major. C, D, E, F, G, A, D, C. We also give each of those notes a number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that's eight your eight notes. Now all we're going to look at the major scale intervals are the distance between one and two which is called a major second. One and three is called a major third so that's C to E. One to four is a perfect fourth okay because it's it's very consonant sounding so it's called a perfect fourth. One to five is a perfect fifth. One to six is back to the major sixth. Uh, one to seven is a major seven and one to uh, Eight is an octave. Okay, so um, those are all your intervals within there. Now, obviously, your intervals are. You can look at it another way. Okay, which we did before is look at the, the actual distance in terms of tones and semitones. So, what? Uh, so a, a major second will always be a tone wherever you're going from. Whether you're up here, you know, wherever you're playing, a major second will always be a, the distance of a tone between two notes. A major third will always be two tones. Okay, a perfect fourth will always be two tones and a semitone. Perfect fifth will be two tones, a semitone and another tone. Okay, so th that's how it works. So you've, you've always got that specific sort of amount of, of distance between, between them. So, for example, a few things just to think about. Try and figure out a few intervals, for example. Try and figure out what a uh, major third is up from G. Okay, so to do that you go, all right, G, what's the third note? Okay, G, A, B. Okay, that's that's a major third. It's two tones or um, a perfect fourth up from F. Okay, so you're gonna go you're gonna go one, two tones and a semitone. That's gonna give you B flat. F to B flat is a perfect fourth. All right, that's the way to try and think about it. Okay, try and apply it to some of the major scale stuff we did, um, and just get used to the notion. You know, I mean, if you're a guitarist, pianist, if you you know, if you're fairly comfortable, pick pick a random key and just be able to go one, one, two, one, three, one, four, one, five, one, six, one, seven, one, eight. See if you can just get through and, and, and do that, and those are all your intervals you need to know. Next time we'll be looking at some of the minor intervals. You've got some uh, sort of fruity sounding names as well that come up, but until then, get familiar with your major scale ones uh, to start with. All right, until then, keep working hard.